hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on the basics of the blender software i would like to cover the navigation part in this video so firstly i've got this uh, blender uh, software open so i would like to go to the file and then go to the new and then choose general which brings up a new scene with a cube in the viewport so i couldn't select that uh, viewport uh, cube and then delete it and also i can add uh, the cube from this menu add and then choose this cube here so once the cube is created the first important thing is uh, navigating your viewport so most of the times uh, we do we generally miss out especially the 3d artists who have been worked on the different applications when switched to blender they miss out that four panel layout uh, generally uh, four panel layout is not the way how blender works uh, like we generally switch immediately to the orthographic view with some options here so uh, but however if you are missing it you can go to view area and then choose toggle quad view and then you get this four panel layout one is perspective the other three are the uh, orthographic views like top front and the right so control alt and q if i press i can toggle between these two uh, modes okay however as i told you now uh, blender in, in blender we don't use that four panel layout we directly switch this into an orthographic view or a perspective view and if if i'm in perspective in orthographic i can switch to front back side and all that views so there are a couple of ways i would like to show you that in this video so first thing first is about the navigation so here we have uh, this navigation icons so first one is zoom in and out so just click and drag it and then you should able to see i'm zooming in and zooming out uh, with this particular icon click on that and uh, drag at that place only and then you have this hand icon which is going to pan the viewport and then you got this this view toggle the camera view you can use that and then here we have this option of uh, toggling between orthographic view and the perspective view okay so these are the four icons and if you could see i was zooming in and i'm panning and you might be thinking uh, how do i orbit so they have given this icon here which where i can just click on the white area if i hover the cursor near this gizmo uh, this white area is where i can click it's like a ball and then i can drag it in any direction to orbit around the object here okay and then we have the specific axis just by clicking on that i can uh, switch to that particular view so i'm seeing from the x axis i am seeing from the y i'm seeing from the z or negative y so you can do anything like that here okay so you can actually uh, you can navigate uh, the a viewport with the uh, keyboard uh, mouse and keyboard shortcuts also so to navigate uh, with the mouse i need to hold middle mouse button okay and then drag it then you are orbiting around the object there okay so if i hold shift and uh, middle mouse button i am panning this uh, uh, viewport and when i'm holding control and middle mouse button i am zooming in and zooming out you can also zoom in zoom out with the scroll i use a middle mouse scroll and then go closer and away with this particular button uh, with the scroll and uh, if you have by accidentally um, uh, went off the camera you can go to the view and then you can use this option called frame all or you can use a keyboard shortcut home okay so you can if you're just away from the camera just press home and you are in the you have framed all objects okay so you have the other thing is which is uh, frame selected which is numbers pad full stop so if i have selected this object here i need to press that full stop and i have uh, framed it framed the selected object home 
frame all and full stop frame selected so this is very important when you want to uh, frame a specific object and uh, you have the other ways to you know navigate here that is you can use a, a keyboard shortcut and uh, tilde is the key which is a key below escape so just you need to press that and you get a, a menu where, where your cursor is so in that you could switch to top view okay and then you can switch to back view you can switch to the left view you can switch to the right view so you got the keyboard shortcuts here okay uh, the numbers you can use them and you can switch to any of these views okay you can go to the view and you have here all that options you could see that so if i want to go to the camera i need to press zero okay then if i have to go to the top i need to press seven okay so i'm using keyboard shortcuts seven nine one three zero all that okay so you can check out the shortcuts from here practice a lot you should see top is seven and uh, um, for the bottom control seven uh, then again front is one back is control one right is three and uh, left is control three so when you're pressing one you're in the f f front view control one you went to the back view okay seven control seven three control three maybe i can use a different uh, model here so i'm going to use this model called monkey and then you should able to see one and control one so you could see in one i'm i'm i just frame it correctly okay uh, sorry now i press one and control one so this is front view and back view three control t seven control seven okay so you have this uh, navigations and when you use middle mouse and drag you switch it to perspective view immediately okay and uh, one thing is uh, if i have to rotate my camera with the keyboard buttons i need to press six and uh, four which are side by side uh, buttons like a video game players generally use this and then you have eight and then uh, two you can generally rotate it like that okay so camera navigation is something really important when it comes to you know modeling something in the viewport because this is an empty space and you have to go around that space build objects and you know model move all that stuff okay so practice this this is very important exercise you need to uh, you know do when you're doing your blender uh, learning thing